In this video, we're gonna look at three of the most popular Spanish guitar strumming patterns that I personally use as the rhythm guitarist in a band called Guitarra Azul and that you'll be able to find in countless other Spanish guitar music as well. Hey guys, David Chiraboga here and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who didn't know, besides my own solo projects and the tutorials that I do on this YouTube channel, I'm also the rhythm guitarist with a group called Guitarra Azul. We're an instrumental Spanish guitar group that's fused with rumba flamenca rhythms, Latin rhythms, and some world beats as well. So if you haven't heard the group yet, definitely check out my friend Steve's channel where you can see all our music videos and see what you think for yourself. I'm gonna start off with the strum pattern that I use in one of our most popular songs on YouTube, Tres Lagrimas. This is a bolero style rhythm that comes more from our Latin influence. All right, so first, let's break it down beat by beat, very slowly. In the song Tres Lagrimas, I do start off with a B minor, which is barred, but for today, let's just keep it more simple and we'll start off with an A minor. All right, let's start off with beat one, very simple. We're gonna start off with our thumb and we're gonna pluck on the bass string. In this case, it's gonna be the fifth string. Now on the one and, we're gonna start off with the rasgueado. The and is right in between beats one and two and we're gonna start off with the ring, middle, index, index strum. Also known as A, M, I, I. Let's count it out exactly like it's gonna fall. So it's gonna be one and a two. So down, 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 up. The index finger should fall right on the two. So one and a two and three. The three is left empty. And then we come back up with the index finger on the three and. So one and a two and three. So for four and, we do this little muted strum where we bring our fingers down and then automatically drop our palm right into it. If you haven't tried this before, it might take you a little time to just get used to it, but just have some patience with it and just practice it like this. Just have the fingers coming down and then right as the fingers come down and slur it, kind of have a little bit of a slurred strum to it, just have the palm automatically come up and cover it. Again, it's gonna sound like this. So it's almost like you're already muting it, but you're coming down all together. And then for and, on the upbeat again, you just bring your index finger up again. So again, the whole thing, one and a two. Now, if you're getting thrown off by not playing the downbeat of beat three, feel free to just throw in your index finger for now. It doesn't change it that much, and you can always take it out later if you want, once you get used to the strum. So, for example, you could play it like this. One and a two and three and four and one and a two and three and four and. We just take out that third beat finger so that it's not so static and militant and it could have a little bit more of a groove. Or another thing that you can do that I sometimes do is on beat three, I throw in a very light little tap with my ring finger. All right, strumming pattern number two. This is a variation of the rumba pattern. And this variation in particular has some crossover and some influence from that bolero pattern that we just looked at. And you'll see it and hear it once we start working on it. Alright, so for this one we're going to play with a standard E minor chord or you can play the variation that I'm playing with. So just like the bolero pattern, we're going to start off with the thumb plucking the bass note. In this case, for an E minor, it's on the sixth string. So we're going to have one. On the and, the index finger is coming up. So on the upbeat, index finger is coming up. Now for beat two, we're going to take fingers I, M, A. 
and we're gonna strum down using our wrist to turn into it not using our arm completely more of a wrist motion we're gonna come up on the and of two with the thumb now for beat three just like the bolero pattern we're not gonna play anything on beat three now you can either do an imaginary motion of coming down just so you can feel that beat three and then we're gonna come back up with the index finger on the and so three and and then just like the bolero pattern as well we're gonna take all the fingers and do the muted strum four and so as you can see it kind of crosses over with that bolero pattern we just did so it's a little bit of a bolero rumba fusion pattern one and two and three Now one thing I didn't mention on beat one when we pluck the bass string with our thumb it's nice to get in some type of golpe. So I use the ring finger to do a little light golpe tap right here. Now if you haven't tried this be patient with it because it might take a little time to get that coordination down. Just get used to a little bit of a, a closing motion with the two. So as you're coming down with the thumb just, just kind of tap your finger into the guitar. Again, just like the bolero rhythm on beat three where we don't strum, feel free to throw in another tap with the ring finger. One and two and three and four and... By throwing in those two golpes into this pattern, it fuses it more into that rumba style. All right, strum pattern number three. For strum pattern number three, I basically play one of the most popular Spanish guitar strum patterns, which is the rumba strum. And as I mentioned before, there are different variations of the rumba strum, but the version that I'm gonna show you is one of the most straightforward and standard ways of playing it. You can find this strum pattern in Oasis and many other of our songs that are rumba flamenca influenced. <laughs> All right, let's break it down. We're gonna start off with the thumb again, but this time not just on one string, not just one bass string. We're just gonna strum through some of the bass strings all together, not necessarily with any science to exactly which strings, just as many as you can. Ideally with the golpe as well, it's nice to get the more fleshier golpe by using the tips of the ring and the middle finger. This time a little bit more angled out so that you can get the flesh. But that's optional. If you're just starting off with this strum, then don't worry about the golpes to start off. But I will add in the golpes just so you can hear the full version. One and two and three. Thumb up, slap, index up, index middle down, index up. And usually when the fingers are coming back up like that, it's just the index doing the work of strumming, not the middle one as well. Another thing to be conscious of is how we're achieving these motions. For the first one, we're closing the hand together. Index is coming up using this knuckle. Twist the wrist a little bit, like we're opening up a door. Not too drastically, you don't want the pinky to pop up all the way over here, but just enough to get the thumb down here. That comes in on one and two. So just a little bit of a twist, two and. Just enough to get the thumb down. And then from three and four and, you could keep the hand pretty still. So it's just slap, up, down, up. Slap, up, down, up. All right, guys, these have been the three top strum patterns that I use with Guitarra Azul. Of course, I use a few other variations in the rumba or a few other hybrid strums, but these are the three main ones that I use. So if you wanna see me using some of these strum patterns in action, make sure to visit my friend Steve Edwards' YouTube channel where you can find all our Guitarra Azul music videos. I'll provide some links in the description. Until next time, keep practicing, stay patient, and enjoy the journey. Thank you.